Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. In the last video I was sanding the spar urethane to rough it up so that I could paint it with the olive green or the olive drab or the army green paint. I put three coats of that on the camper and then finally I jacked it up and uh, got it set up on the trailer. So the next step in my process was to mask it off and uh, use some uh, custom coat tenable bed liner. I got the olive drab hoping it would match the other green and it leaves this really nice looking uh, hard textured finish so I'm really liking this. Then I installed my Max Air fan on top got it wired up where it will run off my uh, Blue Eddy uh, power station and then I also installed both the doors and windows. I have a door and a window on each side of the camper. Next I installed my back galley hatch. It's uh, nothing really fancy. I just cut my uh, hurricane hinge down to the right length. I actually overlap it a little bit on the top just to help keep the rain uh, from getting down in that crack. Um, and then I put a couple of T-handle door locks uh, that are keyed the same uh, to uh, get it locked up. And then I also put some weather stripping all around the inside and so when you lock it with those T-handles it compresses that. And uh, it hadn't been outside in the rain yet so I haven't uh, tested it but hopefully it won't leak then it was time to get this thing bolted to the trailer I'd been putting that off uh, even after I set it on the trailer but uh, trying to figure out exactly how I wanted to do it but I got with my uh, old buddy Justin Phillips over at Metro Metalworks and he hooked me up with these uh, plates here that and you can see I've used a, another board made a rail um, and they're fastened to the trailer, bolted with the trailer, and then a big lag bolt going through hitting the bottom of the floor. And finally today I removed the stock axle and these little bitty dinky tires. They were great for uh, moving the trailer around and stuff as I'm working on it, but uh, that was one of the Final big steps here is to put the uh, Dexter axle that I bought actually about two years ago. It's a little beefier axle and it allows me to, uh, it's also a little wider than the uh, stock axle and it allows me to run these uh, better trailers so I'll be able to, uh, uh, you know, the other little dinky tires you're only supposed to go about 45, maybe 55 mile an hour, but these are rated I think at 85. Um, and just so anybody's wondering, I tried to get a little shot of the, uh, the tag on them. These are an ST205 slash 75 R15 tire. So, uh, got these from eTrailer.com and, uh, I think they're going to work out really nice and give me the, uh, clearance that I want. Some things that are left on my to-do list are to, of course, touch up the paint. Uh, I've noticed if you're getting just the right lighting, or especially after I take pictures and look at them, it looks like the uh, custom coat tenable bed liner paint did not match the olive drab uh, paint that I got from uh, Ace Hardware. So in some spots, it looks a little streaky. So I've got plenty of that... Uh, paint that I've that I started with I got uh, about a half gallon of that left so I think I can put a uh, kind of nappy roller on and kind of go over that uh, texture and get it all back the same color and it will look much better I also need to add some gas stabilizers on my galley hatch I've already purchased those I've got some 15 inch uh, stabilizers and I think they're rated at uh, about 40 pounds each or something like that so hopefully that will uh, be the right uh, uh, you know the right ones that I can use also I need to finish the inside I really haven't done much at all to the inside of the cabin 
I did uh, coat the floor with some spar urethane just to protect it during the build process. But you can see here, I've still got the uh, wires hanging out the front there. Uh, and I need to finish doing some wiring. I also need to uh, build the front storage shelf, which will be similar to the one in the rear, which I'm showing here. I also need to put the uh, finished trim pieces in the cabin and uh, around the door. I, I'm not using the uh, trim pieces that come with the door. Uh, I'll maybe do another video <laughs> to explain why I'm not using that. But uh, I've also got to put some clear finish uh, in the cabin and the uh, galley. I've also got to add some caulk around both doors, both windows, on top of the hurricane hinge uh, on the back galley, and also along the, the top of the rails that I added for, or I call them the mounting rails, that I used uh, to uh, bolt the, the, the camper to the trailer. Now you can't really tell it from this picture, but I did take both of those rails and I run them through my table saw. So the top is actually at an angle. So any rain running down the side should run on off and not sit there with it being just a flat surface. It's, uh, it's angled where it should run off. Uh, and also each of those, I put two coats of spar urethane, then lightly sanded to rough up that and then put on that black rust-oleum paint again uh, so hopefully those will uh, last a long time and I won't have to replace those anytime soon also I've got some uh, LED brake light turn signal type things that I'm going to be adding to the back so I'll be doing that as well and of course my license plate holder I'm not really sure where I'm going to put that if you get any suggestions uh, be sure and put the comment down below. Let me know where you think I should put that. I'm thinking about just sticking it right kind of in the center between those two uh, handles where I open the hatch. Um, I don't know. But uh, just let me know what you think on that. And if you got anything out of this video, please leave me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already and want to follow along, be sure and hit the subscribe button and also hit the little bell so you get notifications every time I upload a new video. Uh, I will have links to the playlist and any of the items I've used uh, for this build down below in the description. So until the next one, thank you very much for watching.